Hi, I'm Roy from Drone School UK. Well, it's finally arrived. DJI have now installed a simulator on the DJI Fly app. And it's only happened in the last few days with the latest firmware software upgrade that was used for the Mavic 4 Pro. And that's mid-May 2025. The actual simulator now operates on the DJI Fly app. There was always a simulator on the uh, Go 4 app, the previous app that ran the Phantom 4 and the Mavic 2. And here's an example of me on the DJI Go 4 simulator flying forward now, using the controller and then turning to the right and starting to climb, flying out into the distance. But there was never a simulator on the Fly app, but it now is there and it works. Landing. Now with that simulator, it'll only work with a couple of controllers. It'll only work with the DJI RC2 controller. And there's another controller that's been launched with the Mavic 4 Pro, which is called the RC2 Pro controller. It'll work with both of those, but it'll only run with this controller and the RC2 controller. And this controller is, no, you can notice this controller with the two aerials on the top. Now this controller is compatible with the DJI Flip, the DJI Neo, the uh, D Mini 4 Pro. This is the controller that runs those. So if you upgrade the software firmware on this controller, you will see a simulator and we'll look at that now. Latest firmware version is 1.17.0 and you can check for an upgrade easily in the about button. You hit the check for the upgrade button, it'll check the version and it'll tell you if firmware is up to date, if it is up to date. Hit the simulator button at the top and then the simulator will come up. Now if the drone is powered on as this flip was, you'll get this message and you need to power the flip off because the simulator runs without the drone powered on. This is the welcome screen. Hit the simulator button again and up comes the simulator ready to go. You have two options, basic course and immersive flight. Now I'm going to hit the drone hanger button and you'll see in there I've only got one drone on this system now which is the Mavic 4 Pro. Back to the two options and we're going to hit the basic course and when you hit the basic course you'll see the beginner guide and we'll press a start to go with that and when you hit the start button on the beginner guide it really guides you through step by step in simple beginner mode you have to tap on the screen you've got to switch into C mode as well which is cine mode which is slow speed mode before it'll let you to start so let's tap the screen and we'll start by starting the motors by pulling the two sticks inwards and then I'm going to tap the screen to take off. And you'll see I'm pushing the left stick up, 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 up to the top of the arrow. Then it guides you through step by step. You have to step on the screen again. And it's going to ask me to push the right stick forward to fly forward. And then it's going to ask me to push the right stick to the left by tapping the screen and you'll see it's saying go left and you'll see I pull it all the way until the arrow fills up at the bottom. I'm now going to do the same thing again and pull the right stick to the right and the arrow fills up again. This is flying to the right and the left. Now it's going to ask me to yaw to the left and yaw to the left using the left stick. So I'm going to pull the left stick to the left, which of the drone turns 180 degrees towards me. And then I'm going to pull the left stick to the right and it's going to go all the way back again. So it's facing away from me 180 degrees movement again. Tap on the screen again and we'll start to have an obstacle of course in front of us and we're using both sticks now to steer. So there's the first circle, I'm flying forward and through the circle. You wanna try and follow the arrows, so I'm pulling to the left, going through the next circle. And now I wanna go a bit to the left so I can line up square to this next circle, which I will fly through the middle of. And this explodes out the way and it shows you've gone through it. I'm now gonna try and line us up to fly through this next circle, try and go through the middle of that, 
and then the next item will come up it'll ask me to try and use the camera and aim the camera so we're going to fly forward into this green circle now get into the middle of this circle into this position and then I'm going to use the left wheel on the controller to scroll up to aim at the what it wants me to take a photograph of and I'm going to use the right button to take a photograph now it's asking us to start to use the video button and that's pressing the left button on the screen uh, and then pushing the left button again to stop the video and to stop it so start recording and stop recording now it's going to ask me to do the final item which is hit the return to home button on the screen so I'm going to hit the return to home button on the screen the drone is now flying back with the green direction back to the H back to the home point and the drone will go over the top of that home point and it will land the drone turns away from me comes down and starts to land as it does in real life just wait for the simulator to finish and the drone will turn the camera up as it lands on the ground now in my testing you have to do the beginning mode at the beginning before it'll let you go into more practice I've tried it in more practice first and it won't let you do this but when we go into more practice and we've done the beginner mode it allows us to fly freestyle anywhere we want to go hit press aircraft so it puts the DJI Mavic 4 Pro on the spot this is me now flying freestyle around what the DJI call the skate park so we'll start the drone off climb to five six eight meters you get the height now and I'm going to fly forward over the skate park fly forward and I try and pick up that van on the left as it turns in front of me change the camera angle playing around with the various settings turning to the right now I'm going to follow the van and now I'm going to go to the left now rather than go to the right and try and fly up this street I'm going to get the drone to climb you can see I'm at 23 meters now 24 meters change the camera angle distance away is 120 meters now going to climb a little bit more try and go over these buildings and you can see the simulator is pretty realistic I'm going to fly out as far as I possibly can and there's a restriction on this of 200 meters and you'll see this simulated mesh wall that stops me at 200 meters or 206 meters it won't let me go any further I'm now going to turn the drone around back to where we were in the skate park you can see the H there is clear and we're going to fly back and I'm going to fly back over the skate park and just keep going and go 200 meters in the other direction as well down past the bluish building on the left and out towards the other building the Mavic 4 Pro has two extra cameras one 2.5 zoom and the other is six times zoom and I've just clicked on both of those now and then back to one zoom and I'm going to head towards that far building flying forward we're now at 50 something meters 56 meters we've gone past the skate park 62 meters high we're going out 70 meters quite slow because I'm still in cine mode at the moment you can see top left it's got C mode cine mode that's slow speed mode we're now flying further and further and further away and to push it out to the 200 meter limit bottom left you'll see my course now as well that we're predicting the course that we're flying and now we're coming across that mesh at the 200 meters stopping us flying any further there's a simulated mesh to stop us flying further okay so I'm now at 200 meters away 
I'm going to turn the drone round now back towards the skate park back towards the buildings that we just seen and we're going to fly back I'm going to change the mode now I'm going to switch it into normal mode and that allows me to fly faster and also going to now try sports mode so you can change the modes in the simulator so now in sports mode you can see it's a lot faster and I'm heading back to the home point I'm going to fly back over the home point and I'm going to just land the drone just look down on myself now bringing the drone down rapidly you can see it comes down pretty quick and I'm going to land the drone bring it down to in front of me turn the drone towards me and then just land the drone and that's the end of the simulated flight DJI fly app software that also runs on the mini 3 Pro and things like that will not operate or the firmware does not have the simulator on this controller which is the basic RC integrated controller it also doesn't have the simulator on the basic RC3 controller that you use with your phone so if you download the latest DJI Fly app on your phone and run it with this controller the simulator will not be there so don't waste your brain cells or your time trying to get it to work it will only work on the RC2 controller and the more expensive latest RC controller that runs with a Mavic 4 Pro Hope that helps. Happy flying. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded.